this is a beautiful circular building, right? So let's say if this were a museum and you're a curious child, you decide to explore the entire museum and you start exploring from this point. You move along this circular path and after hours of exploring all the section, after hours of amazement and wonder, you come back to this point. So the distance that you've traveled along the circular path of this building is what we call the circumference. It's the circumference of a circle. Now let me help you imagine that. So this is a photograph taken from the sky of the same museum that we have assumed. Now you see that if you are at point N and you are this O here and you move along this path of the circle and then you come back exploring the entire museum. The distance that you've covered is what we call the circumference. You can see this here. It's more clear. I move along and I come back. Now, how do you measure this? I'm sure you're wondering that. I mean, scales would break. They, they won't curve, right? So, let's see further. Now, let's say you decide to gift these candles on Christmas and you're decorating them and you decide to stick this red ribbon around the circ around this circular candle. Now, you need to buy this ribbon from the market. You need to find out the circumference of this circular shaped candle. So, what you do is you take a thread and you wrap it around this entire candle and you cut it at this point. You place that thread here and you find out it's around 15 centimeters. So you know that you'll require 15 times 10 which is 150 centimeters. So you know that the ribbon of the minimum length you need to get is of 150 centimeters. Now you see how the circumference measuring this distance around this circular shaped candle, the circumference helped us in our day to day life. But I'm sure you're thinking that okay taking a thread and wrapping it around and then putting it on a scale and measuring is just too lengthy, right? It's too much of work. You're probably thinking, what if this scale would bend? I could just wrap the scale around this circular candle. Well, that's possible. So a scale that's flexible, it bends and has units on it, units of measurement is what we call a measuring tape. You can simply wrap it around any circular object and find out the circumference. So to conclude, there are two ways to understand the circumference. One is that it's the distance around the circle. And the other is, is that you have this circle is just a simple closed curve. Of course, it's the special part about this closed curve is that all the points are at the same distance from this center. Now, if you were to cut the circle at one point and you would flatten that curve such that it would become flattening, it would become it would become a line segment and if you measure the length of the segment, that's also the circumference. Now I'll help you imagine that a bit better.